वेलकम टू माय व्यूज एंड न्यूज आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो मैकेले इज द टारगेट ऑफ एडवांसिंग इथियोपियन एंड एरटियन ट्रॉप्स एंड फ्रॉम At least three directions, uh, EDF and ENDF uh, are advancing towards Tigray's capital. We know that uh, ENDF and EDF were mainly pushing along B30 highway in recent days. Uh, they captured Shire, then to the east of Shire. Uh, so their main push was towards. uh the areas towards the towns which are situated along b30 highway their earlier push towards makale failed which happened around a month ago when from a far side iratian military and a far militia members they tried to enter tagray from afar from berale front but they could not uh, make uh, significant inroads into tigray and they were stopped uh, near mount asta so their earlier push towards makale failed and recently they were moving towards uh, places along uh, b30 highway and in southern tigray now since edf and endf have captured almost all major cities of tigray they are now advancing towards makale tigray's capital it has been confirmed question is from which direction is the main push uh, towards makale uh, capital of tigray region well the main push is reportedly from far side we know that uh, eritrean military is in a far uh since the start of this third round of fighting uh, on the 24th of august eritrean military has been in afar uh, there is no large scale deployment of ethiopian national defense force on a far front mainly eritrean military and afar militia members afar regional forces they have been fighting on berahale front not on abala uh, but on berahale and their earlier push towards makale was not from abala but from berale through mount asta once again what we have learned is that on berale front eritrean military and a far militia member they have managed to enter a tigray region of ethiopia a month ago they were stopped in lugdo and asia to the west of mount asta mount asta was the border between tigray and afar there was fighting on and near mount asta and they were stopped edf and afar were stopped uh, in dacia there was fighting in dacia they were pushed back towards berahale but now when tigray forces are coming under pressure on different fronts afar forces and eritrean military they have managed to to enter tigray region from mount asda they are moving towards agula and vakro which were their two targets in their earlier operation a month ago the operation failed but this time reportedly they have captured dacia and they are moving towards uh, agula vakro and uh, they got the uh, eritrean border if they take agula if they reach a2 highway it means that makale will be cut off tigray's capital will be cut off a2 highway will be cut off that is what we have learned from the ground through some sources uh yes tdf is defending but uh, not uh, the way it was defending last time when from the east afar and eritians uh, tried to enter uh, uh, tigray this time tigray forces are withdrawing and they're withdrawing towards central tigray to the west of makale 
and they are the targets of dawn strikes while they are withdrawing. As I reported in the previous video that uh, Adva Makele Road was uh, the target of dawn strikes today. Four places along this road were hit today by Ethiopian Air Force. Why? Because along this road, Tigray forces are retreating towards central Tigray. And second purpose of these dawn strikes is to stop any movement from central Tigray towards Makele. Because Makele is the next target of Ethiopian federal forces and Eritrean military. So main push is from the east, from afar. There could be a push toward uh, Makele from the north and from the south as well. Uh, in a southern direction, known position of uh, ENDF and Amhara forces was close to Machu and Mahoney. And on a northern front, along A2 highway, a known uh, confirmed position of uh, EDF and ENDF is near Adagrath. They might have advanced from these two sides as well. But what we have learnt is that main push towards Makele is from afar. A written military was waiting there for days after their first offensive failed. They were uh, regrouping. They were making preparations for other fronts. They were making preparations uh, and waiting for other fronts to fall. And now when other fronts are collapsing, suddenly this push from east towards Makele is being reported. I think I discussed in some previous videos that uh, when other fronts uh, will fall, there uh, will be coordinated push towards Makale from east, afar, from Abergale, from Adegara side. Uh, obviously not from central Tigray because Adwa, Makale road is still under TDF control. So it's not that uh, from Adwa through Abi uh, ENDF, EDF are moving towards Makale. No, this road is under TDF control. Central Tigray is under TDF control. Main push is from the east and from north and south. Some say that uh, airborne operations are being launched by Ethiopian Air Force. That uh, airborne landing of commandos near Makale is ongoing. I have no information. These are rumors. Uh, but what I have confirmed is that... Uh, uh, this is not airborne operation to capture Makale. It is mainly a push from eastern side from afar. So, uh, it's expected though, not a surprise, because uh, if all other major towns have been lost by Tigray forces, uh, Makale uh, is also going to be attacked by ENDF and EDF. And uh, withdrawal from Makale was already underway. Uh, so, it wouldn't be surprising for anyone if in coming hours we know that ENDF and EDF they have managed to reach close to Makale or even in Makale. I don't think that uh, Tigray forces uh, would try to defend Makale. Though the withdrawal could be slow, sudden withdrawal could put uh, them at risk, uh, withdrawing forces. So withdrawal could be... Uh, slow, coordinated, uh, but uh, what I have learned is that the Tigray forces are not interested in uh, defending Makale, Tigray's capital. One clarification, it's not that ENDF and EDF have entered Makale, they're not in Makale, but their push towards Makale is ongoing and they have made some gains. They have taken those places which they could not a month ago when they tried to move towards Makale from eastern side. This time, uh, EDF Afars are facing less resistance from Tigray forces. That is why they have managed to enter uh, Tigray from Birahale and they are moving uh, quickly towards Agula and Wakro to cut off A2 and then uh, to capture Makale. That is what we can confirm. So overall, you see that uh, Within the last uh, 72 hours, things happened very fast. 
after shire's fall you saw that one after the other uh, tagray's main towns uh, came under endf and edf control uh, and main reason behind uh, this uh, quick uh, advance uh, by edf and endf is that tagray has decided that it won't fight in cities so hours before the start of talks in south africa endf and edf uh, they have uh, uh, swept across tagray you can say people say capture of uh, towns and cities uh, does not matter the war will not come to a close yes the war will not come to a close but capture of towns and cities matters it's not that it's insignificant no it is significant it shows that tagray forces could not defend the towns and cities a few days ago uh, they were saying that uh, endf and edf could not take an inch of tagray now they have lost all towns along uh, b30 highway and some along a2 highway as well so capture of these towns matters a lot uh, obviously emotionally strategically uh, tigray is relying on its uh, old tested strategy guerrilla warfare can this guerrilla warfare work this time by the way if talks fail and if guerrilla war starts guerrilla war does not end uh, in days or in weeks last time they kept on fighting for 7 months but tigray forces endf edf and still they were still mate so that is why let's hope let's pray that talks reach a some sort of solution otherwise uh, tigray forces will withdraw uh, towards and tigray they'll start guerrilla warfare guerrilla war and guerrilla fighting guerrilla style fighting it will not end in a few days or weeks so conflict will be prolonged conflict should come to a close at the table somehow that is what we should hope we should pray for think for you